that they haven't been able to survive because they had to change, uh, because it was forced on them, or because they made that deliberate choice. But the reason why they've been here for so long is really because they had the courage at a specific moment in time to change what they were doing, how they were doing, where they were doing it, and, and I think that that is uh, very important. Secondly, I think that one of the strengths that we have in, in Europe as a culture is that we are more aware of the different components within, within uh, a company. So we really care about stakeholders, meaning uh, our employees, our customers, our suppliers, um, and our shareholders. And because they're family controlled, family owned, family led, that, that, that bias towards shareholders is mitigated by how you make sure that all the different constituencies that make uh, this organization successful are, are taken into account. And I would say that probably that's one of, of the reasons why I'm very optimistic about uh, how companies in Europe will continue and hopefully new companies like yours who have similar ethos uh, will, able, will be able to, to thrive. You think, uh, uh,